The consumer can be defined as anyone who uses economic goods and services. And today's lesson is based on consumer education. Remember to follow me on Instagram at SavvyShe underscore TT. Subscribe, comment, and like. Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Shea. Before we begin the lesson, let's start with related terms. Bulk shopping, to purchase something at a reduced price of a large quantity of a particular commodity. E-commerce is commercial transaction conducted electronically on the internet. Green customer is a customer who purchases things that has been produced in a way that protects the environment. Unit pricing, a system of indicating the cost of a consumer's product in terms of a standard of measure. A consumer can be defined as anyone who uses economic goods and services. The family as a unit is a consumer of goods and services. But each family member will have different needs and wants to consume available goods and services. These needs and wants will be met according to the family's ability to procure them. Basic needs should be met before wants. Perhaps we need a guide to help us decide on how to spend our needs and wants. Wise shopping is an asset of the consumer. The wise consumer practices the following. Makes a budget, gets value for money, buys goods in season, makes a shopping list, uses with all care available goods and services, buys to meet the needs of all members involved. Keep in mind, there is also unwise consumer practices. Some consumers are unwise in their own actions. For example, they leave too much water on, they leave the tap dripping or even running. Others use too much electricity, like leaving the lights on when no one is using them, or they might leave the radio and television playing when there's no one listening or viewing. Wants are goods and services that consumers desire. A need is something that is necessary. We cannot do without it. Your basic needs should not be confused with your wants. It is wise to elevate your wants, making a list, placing them in order of importance to you. By doing this, you will be satisfied with the choices you have made. You usually have several options when you want to purchase something. Here are some factors that influence consumer buying. Money, the amount available for spending. Climate, especially for food, clothing and fuel. Number of persons in the family. Age of the family members. Health of the family members. Knowledge and information available about goods and services. Lifestyle and values. How you spend is a matter of values. Example, buying expensive brand name items or saving for a vacation or even for a university education. Some of us may have been affected by this impulsive buying and this is buying products at the spur of the moment without advanced planning. Perhaps you went out and bought an article that you liked at the moment and felt you had to buy it without thinking whether or not it was of use to you. This action is termed impulsive buying. When buying, it is wise for you as a consumer to do the following. Avoid buying without thinking or buying to please the salesperson. If you feel compelled to buy, you may discover later that you don't even like the item or in fact, you may not even need it. Avoid buying too much of a product because it is on sale. Let us suppose that potatoes are on sale. Before you buy, you should consider 
available storage space that you may have for it the storage life of the potato the use of the potato and how the potato attracts ones living in the household you may find that spending money on potatoes has now become an added expense rather than a saving the consumer sometimes acts impulsively in purchasing items such as clothing and household gadgets for clothing check on the finished look look for flaws and make sure that the item fits into the scheme of your wardrobe buy gadgets only when you are sure they would be useful advertising is one of the ways in which someone has something to sell can communicate with many potential buyers manufacturers do everything that they can to sell you their products since all companies are competing for your custom you may be well confused advertisements are everywhere on TV radio programs magazines newspapers shops too have special displays to urge you to spend your money on their goods learn to be alert and wise to advertising and their ploys there are acts of parliament and codes of practices established to cover aspects of trade and businesses apart from the consumers associations and affiliates other organizations such as ministries of health and the public utilities department within different government ministries national ngos also perform a significant role in consumer interests as a consumer you do have an effect on the economic system in your country your spending and saving habits influence not only you and your family but the whole country how you spend what you purchase help to determine what is produced that is which businesses will succeed and which will fail use that power to indicate your buying choices by asking for the kind quality price and brand of goods and services that meet your standards encourage fair and honest trade practices by dealing only with a reputable salesperson help prevent the selling of inferior goods by being an alert shopper know what you want how much you are willing to pay and how to judge quality the consumer's aim is to achieve an experience personal satisfaction and happiness from the use of goods and services goods and services of high quality give better results than those of poor quality and add to the individual's quality of life and sense of well-being the quality of life is different for each consumer because of different values goals resources and management of goods and services individuals with different lifestyles will have different patterns of consumption and different activities the person who is weight conscious might want to consume foods that are low in calories and will seek to eat just enough for normal body functions. For the person who likes water sports, bath suits might have heavy priority as a consumer. The farmer is interested in agricultural tools, the cyclist in modern, well equipped, and efficient bicycle. Lifestyles have an influence on the desires for certain goods and services and dictate how money is to be spent for these resources. In other words, consumer practices and decision making are based on an individual's lifestyle. Thank you so very much for watching. We have come to the end of the lesson today. And do remember, every day you learn, you grow. So keep learning and you'll keep growing. Bye for now.